Morning gang. I'm kind of excited. I just uh, started thinking about getting a three-point hitch quick disconnect. It's something I talked to Jared. I saw him do a video on it over at J&J um, &J Acres. And he sent me a link and I was like, yeah, you know, I thought they were going to be more expensive. But he sent me a link. It was $100 for a Category 1, which is what I have. I'm like, oh, that's, that's not bad. That's affordable. Saved me a lot of heartache trying to put implements on and off the back, which would mean I'm going to utilize the tractor more because the truth is sometimes it's like ah, I don't want to switch out that implement. So I started looking around online and I saw one at Harbor Freight. Now I know I'm a glutton for punishment with that Harbor Freight but sometimes they have good stuff. It's decent stuff for a good value price. Sometimes some of the stuff they have is junk. I ain't gonna lie. But in this case I'm hoping that you know it's just a big metal object right? How bad can it be? And guess what? It's $100 with a $20 coupon, so it's $20 off, so it's $80, plus I'm going to get a free pack of batteries out of the deal. So, not a bad deal. I called. They have one in stock. It's on clearance. I'm going to go get it. Come on. So, in addition to heading down to Harbor Freight to pick up my new three-point hitch quick disconnect, which I'm so excited about. How weird. I'm so excited about it. Three years ago, I was driving a BMW. Ten years ago, I was riding a Harley Davidson. Today, I'm going to Harbor Freight to pick up a three-point hitch quick disconnect for my tractor. Who would have thunk it? Anyway, in addition to that, I think OGK and I see the light at the end of the tunnel on this chicken coop build. And we are going to, I hope, put up the trim pieces today, uh, put up the nest box today, and hang the doors today. And once that's done, for all intents and purposes, we have a working coop. Yeah, I'm going to have to put up some hardware cloth or something on the inside as well on the back where we're going to leave it open and vented. But for all intents and purposes, the, it, the coop itself is done. Then we just got to get working on the run. And that should be relatively easy. We're using T111. I will have to build like a little gate door or something like that. But we're using T111 and just a regular you know, rolled up fence wire. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure. I'm sure there'll be design changes in the midst of doing this to see what works better for us. But I'm sick and tired of spending money. And I'm sick and tired of spending so much time and energy on this project. We got to get it done. I got to get some more birds. We're going to ramp up our egg production and hopefully start selling some eggs to bring a little bit of income back in. It'll pay, it'll pay for the coop and pay for the birds and pay for the feed. Anyway, I appreciate y'all coming along for the ride. And don't forget, guys. We're trying to grow the channel and reach as many people as we possibly can. We see storm clouds gathering just like you do. Bad times are ahead. I'm convinced of that. I'm not exactly sure when or where or what it's going to look like. But help us grow the channel and reach as many people as we can. The more people we reach, the less people we got to worry about for after the balloon goes up. The more people that might potentially be on our side instead of be on our front door trying to get what we got. Got it? So share a video if you get a chance. Um, and reach out to me. I really get a kick out of uh, making friendships with a lot of you guys online. Uh, some of you I talk to on the phone. Some, some of you is just through uh, Facebook. I have an off grid Nation Facebook page. And some of you it's through email. And some of y'all it's all the above. So I get a kick out of hearing from you and, and uh, making new friendships. Thanks again. All right, so I'm driving home and I'm listening to AM radio, listening to the news people talk about this budget deal that went down and how upset the president is, saying Democrats spiked the football and Democrats doing a victory lap because they got so many things that they wanted and the president didn't get so much that he wanted and the news is talking about it as though you know this is regular politics in DC you know the two sides arguing with each other one side trying to make the other side look bad that's the way it happens in Washington and I hope the American people don't believe this or at least are starting to wake up from the fact that this isn't about two sides fighting with each other there is no two sides. There's one side. It's them. All of them. They all want the same thing. Rob you of as much money as they possibly can to buy more influence, buy more friends, buy more power, buy more votes, and then make rules to keep that power, keep that influence, keep them votes. It's rigged. It's one thing President Trump had right. It's a rigged system. Wake up America. Stop buying this two-party narrative bullshit, because that's what it is, plain and simple.